Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings for $50 per month. You get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. You'll find the link to my Patreon listed down in my description box below. Or you can join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, let us step in and find out why we spiritually live here. What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us step in and talk to God, okay? Alright, we have the Seven of Wands to the Chariot Energy. Okay, I'm seeing um, a masculine energy that wants to sort of speak to a feminine energy here, alright? Um, and I'm getting, I'm speaking to that feminine energy within this message, so... There's a masculine energy that would like to have a conversation with you about sort of like with this chariot to the uh, seven of wands. It's 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 I'm seeing the energy of you and somebody settling down. All right, you and somebody building upon something that will not end. It's just solid. It, it's not going anywhere. You know what I mean? So this is like a love opportunity that somebody wants to negotiate with you about. Like they want to sort of speak to you about that. Like, what do you think? What are your thoughts of, you know, settling down or getting married or having children? Or what are your thoughts of, um, you know, living together, getting engaged? You know, things like that. Like somebody here, this masculine energy. They want to discuss that with a feminine energy. They want to discuss that with you, beloved, all right? We have Cancer and Aries energy. So as much as that's the case, the only concern that this masculine has is that you might not want that. You might not want to settle down, you know? You might still be in the energy of your free girl era is what I heard. Like, you just want to be free. He's concerned that you might not take this offer or you might reject the offer because of that, all right? Because this is a man here that has certain plans of the future, his future, and he wants to include you, all right? He doesn't want to live his future without you in it, like, so he wants to include you so that you guys can get to that point. He wants to include you right now in the present so that you guys can get to the point where you are included in one another's future. Okay? So yeah, we have the two of wands. This is planning and, 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 and plotting and thinking, all right? Looking ahead, looking at the future and sort of having all types of thoughts, all types of feelings, all right? This is this masculine energy. 
So we've established where they stand with it. We've established where they are with it. But the problem is they're just concerned that they're worried about where you stand, all right? Do you see yourself in this position in the future? Do you see yourself in that position in the future? What do you want in this in this point of your life? And what do you want for yourself in the future? You know what I'm saying? Do you just want to be on that free girl era and, you know, and live your life? Is that what you just want to do? Or, you know, is there more that you are willing to invest in so that you can have different... Because what they're concerned about is a, a relationship with this Ace of Cups. This is a man that has a plan for their future and they want to include you in it in a form of having a relationship with you. They want to date, they want to fall in love, all right? All those things here. And however, man, this, however way this man views you, they view you as somebody that could be subjective to that. The relationship part, the falling in love part. Maybe it's how you come off to this masculine. Maybe it's the things that you do or how you, you speak on certain things. They they think that maybe you will not be ready for that. You're not concerned about that. You don't want that. Or you don't see yourself in certain positions. Okay, they just have a lot of concerns is what I'm getting here. Um, but the reason they have all these concerns is because with this Ace of Souls energy, you are all that this man wants, okay? If you reject them, if you say no, if you want to be in your free girl era, is what I keep getting, you leave this masculine no choice but to move towards their future with no one, all right? Because they don't want anybody else. They don't really have anybody in mind that they would want to build a relationship with, okay? This man knows exactly what they want. They see the vision with you only, though. So... You know, that's why they're so concerned because they know that if you say no or if you put them in a position to really like, like, nah, I don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Or you reject them, they will have to do this alone, this life thing. They will have to pursue their dreams. They will have to be ambitious and set goals and it will just be them alone doing it. They won't have that desire or that desired outcome of doing it with you, all right? Because this is what this man wants to do. They want to have forward movement with you. They want to sort of transform with you. They want to take action in life with you. They want to do things. They want to go places. You know what I'm saying? But this man is the type of man that they don't like to rush anything in life. So they're willing to invest and take their time in it and, and, and sort of appropriately allow things to just work out the way they have to like they're not gonna push anything on you like oh so do you want this now should we do this in three years how about the, you know how about next year how about three weeks in three weeks like no it's just that they they already know what they want with this two of wands in the relationship and in their life moving forward so they just they just want to take action within within that regard like, yes, I know I want to be with this person. I just want to know if this person wants to be with me. And I know that I don't want to just be in the temporary relationship or relationship based on codependency, lust, all types of things. I want something real, something solid, something of a foundation that I can be proud of, all right? Something that can change my life, something that I can look back on and say, I made a damn good investment or I, I, I took a great um, approach in things. Now look how it's turning out, you know, type of energy. But like we've established, this man doesn't see themselves with anybody else. They don't want to be with anybody else. So if you do decide to be with this man, if you do decide to say, you know what, okay, sure. You'll put this man in a very happy position, you know what I'm saying? You'll, you'll make them very happy because with this Ace of Cups, this is a man that has a lot of love to give, all right? They have a lot of love to give and they have a lot of things to show for, you know, like, let's say they live a certain lifestyle, right? Let's take that, for instance, they live a certain lifestyle and in that lifestyle, they're okay, they fulfill, but then they feel like there's one thing missing, which is somebody to enjoy their lifestyle with. It's not that they lacking here, they lacking there, they have it. 
It's just they want somebody to be there by their side or somebody that they can enjoy it with, somebody that they can keep building with, even with everything that they have achieved for themselves, even with everything that they have attained, all right, in life. They still want that sort of connection where, you know what, we are still together, we are building, you know, we are not together because of one, two, three, we are together because there is so much love that we have for one another, we see a future with one another, and we are very keen to allow it to just pave its way, but we know there's no breaking up. We know there's no this and that because we've already established that vision together. We're on the same page, like you wanna settle down too, you know, and let's just live life like that with that in mind. You know, not just, you know how you date and then you don't even know like what, where you stand with that person exactly or you don't even think of that person as your husband or you know, there's things about this person who really, really, you already know that, you know, when the time comes, you just have to call it quits because you can't tolerate that about them or you're not keen on being with someone like that. You know what I mean? So this man, the reason they want to have a conversation with you about everything is to get your perspective on everything. What do you think? What do you stand with everything? so that they know and they're aware and then obviously they know how to take action afterwards, you know what I mean? But they definitely view you as somebody that has the capability to change them or to change their life. Not change them in a way of like something's wrong with them or they need to evolve or they need to this. I mean, we all have a level of evolution we've yet to reach. Life is long, even though death is knocking at every door any moment. But life is long, you know, the hours, the seconds, the days, the weeks, the months, the years, it's all just long. And you never know what could happen. You never know what experience could unfold. You know what I mean? And this man is willing to take that leap of faith to have a certain experience on life with you. In mind, they only just want you and they want to settle down with you. But they don't want to rush you. They don't want to put it on you like, yeah, we have to do this now. That's why they want to talk. So that you and them are on the same page. How do you feel about that? What are your thoughts about that? Where do you stand with that? You know, and they'll put them at ease and ease all the concerns and ease all the worries about everything because they have a lot of concerns. They have a lot of worries, all right? I'm strongly also getting that this man is a savant, like they smart, they learned. All right, this could be education-wise or, you know, they could be, like, I'm also getting, like, street-wise, okay? They could be both book smart or intelligent. Also, like, they, this is a man with a brain, you know what I mean? That's why they have, they concern so much about things of life that have to do with their future because they are very well learned about things, you know what I mean? And about things of life as well, okay? Okay, we have the Ten of Wands to the Ten of Pentacles. I am picking up here that this man could have been get engaged before or they are divorced or widowed here, but I'm picking up here that there was a relationship that they were in for a long time, either a long-term commitment, like 10 years or, you know, five to eight years, you know. There was a relationship that they were in for a very long time. It was either commitment energy or marriage, engaged, um, divorced, widowed, you take it how it resonates with this man. You must understand if they've been in that position before, they already know like a lot of things because they've experienced a lot of things. So for them to be in this energy of like, if this person rejects me, I know that I don't want anyone else and I'll have to just do this life thing on my own for, you know, and it's, it's, uh, there's nothing I can do. It's because they already have experienced a lot. They will not be in this energy of like dating back and forth and sleeping with that person just cause for the fun of it or entertaining that person, flirting with that person, nah. This is like a stern man. When they make a decision, they stand on it. When they think a certain way, they stand on it. When they feel a certain way, they stand on it. So, they feel this way towards you and they're hoping that you have the same energy, you can reciprocate it and you guys can build from that. You know, they really want to build. And of course it's going to hurt them if you're not in that energy, you're not in that spectrum, you're not interested. 
we're gonna reject them, we're gonna say no. But this man, they ready to move on with life in general, where like they just wanna do better, be better, go better in a like they just wanna live, you know what I mean? They just wanna live a little bit, okay? So you have somebody here that wants to be with you. You have somebody here that is very keen on having a relationship that is being too lost. So do you want it or not? Are you going to take this love offer or not? That's up to you. The ball is in your court, all right? I'm being called to end this message here. <clears throat> this was your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine, I'm grateful for your time. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly signed readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings for $50 per month. You get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. You'll find the link to my Patreon listed down in my description box below, or you can join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google, search it, and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.